Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo, and I'm the Partner Products Manager. Today, I wanted to take a quick look at some of the common machining cycles uh, really any shop will face. I want to review a, a facing cycle, uh, machining a shoulder, and then an open pocket. So with the version 25, you do have a stock wizard. So I'm going to just run the stock wizard on the part. Um, I'm going to set my origin or where my zero is going to be and then I'll click OK. So from here I'm ready uh, to generate some toolpath. I'm going to get into the cam tree and the first thing that I want to do is face off the part. So I'm going to go to mill to axis. I'm going to choose a facing cycle. When it comes to select geometry, I'm going to click select geometry. In this case, I'm working directly with a solid. I'm going to pick the bottom uh, edge of the solid and I'll right click and choose constant Z and then I'm going to hit my space bar and that will pick up uh, the shape of the part that I want to face. From here I can load in a three inch face mill and uh, set what my cutting parameters are and be able to uh, come in here and uh, face off the part. So I have the part faced off at this point. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to machine this shoulder here. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Uh, the first one that I'm going to talk about is profiling. If I choose a profile feature, I can select this surface edge here, or if you have the wireframe. Uh, from there, I can pick the tool that I want to use. <clears throat> I, I'm going to do a standard profile first. Uh, when I go to pick my depth, I'm going to pick it right off the model. Leads, I want a parallel lead uh, to come on and off the part and uh, I'll go ahead and compute this and right here you can see it's really only taking one pass and uh, I want it to take uh, multiple passes to to walk its way in from the side so you have an option here under pattern called side roughing uh, stock remaining is how much material you need to remove and then how many passes now I didn't measure the part but you could measure it to figure it out and then uh, let's say that we had uh, an inch and a half here and we wanted to take that in three passes we can go ahead and hit compute and now you can see it will uh, work its way in from the side taking multiple passes to come in here and to face down the shoulder okay so that's uh, a very common scenario as well. The last thing we want to do is this open pocket here. So what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to extract the wireframe from this bottom face here. And that gives me the boundary that I want to work with. And then what I'm going to do is select the line that's the on the edge that the tool can pass through. I'm going to select it and then I will right click uh, modify attributes line style I'll turn that to a dotted line what this will do is let the software know when pocketing the tool can pass through that wall so from here I can do two axis pocketing I can select my geometry I can select this uh, boundary here the next thing I can do is you know set up uh, what size tool I'm going to use uh, when it comes to my pattern, I want to do an advanced pocket, which is an open pocket, or I could do an adaptive rough, which would be a high speed pocket. In this case, we're going to just do an advanced pocket. We're going to come down and pick our bottom, which will be this edge here. And um, we'll go ahead and compute that. And now you can see the, the tool has come in and uh, it's come in off that side there. Now the other thing that I, I, I want you to understand is it will start off the part, it will start off by about uh, 50 thou. If you want to uh, pull this line out you can do that as well so you get a little more clearance. Uh, this is the standard pocket if you needed it to um, if you want to run the, uh, the high speed machining or the adaptive, you can just put it on adaptive and now you'll see that it will do more uh, side milling for this routine. The other thing is, you know, maybe you don't want to uh, cut this in, in one depth like I've had here. Uh, one of the options you can do is you can pick your top apart, which I could say is this edge here. And then I can go to my parameters and then pick my bottom, which would be that edge there. And then you can set your multiple depths and then now it will cut uh, within those areas. Um, kind of real neat to be able to work right off the model itself. But again, we have some 
uh, open pocketing that we've done here. We have some side roughing with our face mill, and then we also had a face mill routine. So hopefully that information is useful for you guys. Uh, if there's any questions, please feel free to comment back in the thread uh, on the YouTube page or the Facebook, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.